the gatekeeper at the same time. We got a hit for it, though. No hit means we haven't triggered it. Slowly but surely moving up. Good. We're taking a bit of a better um, position here. Overwatch, Overwatch, Overwatch. Reload, Overwatch, Overwatch, and Reload. Let's see if we can spot out the pack again. That's the last chrysalid. We'll now start to roam into our direction. There's the pack. Good, we're definitely ready for them. Long watch should trigger them if we manage to hit. There's the shot. Come on, hit for once. Not the best hit, but at least the chrysalid is burning. There's another hit, there's a nice shredding. Alright, they are not fully in range yet, I just want to highlight that. Which means if we're just moving to absolute maximum distance, That would give us a pretty solid chance to um, avoid an attack for one more round. Right, Standing in the open in this case is irrelevant because uh, the gatekeeper is not moving and those things here Ignore cover. Alright, moving up. That's a hundred percent kill. should hurt quite well. Yep. Hit the armor. Fortunately another dodge. <laughs> His position is so unfortunate behind that um, tree over there that I can't really hit it. This is a dangerous spot. But one that we could use in order to finish. So it would be four to five. This guy has five hit points. Blocking the ladder. 
We are ignoring armor, if I'm not mistaken. Blood trail, yes. Uh, needle ignores armor. And it's four to five points of damage. Hmm. It's a 50, only a 50% chance to kill it. Could we afford it to run into our troops? Probably not. So we got to take the shot. Even if that wouldn't have been a crit, there was uh, more than 50% chance to kill it and a 50% chance of not being detected. But that was a risky maneuver, I got to admit. That's the last one of them. Moving into cover, we can't outrun it, uh, so might as well face it head on. Barely he says barely registered. Well, the problem is these things um, have a high defense and a high dodge. So, yeah, uh, for conventional weapons without any ballistic upgrades and any weapon upgrades whatsoever, they are exceptionally hard to kill. That is not good. Certainly doesn't help when our soldiers on top of that are also pretty bad with their weapons. Moving up, and let's try to get this guy. Wow, what a nail biter. I think this location here is the best chance to hit it. 100%, and there's the kill. Wow. Well, at least um, this time the chrysalids are actually really, really, really dangerous. More often than not, when you fight against them, you are already completely equipped and decked out, so they kind of become a meme with the right uh, counterplay. If you only have conventional weapons and a lot of pretty low-ranking characters, they are far from being a meme. Moving out. Let's move already. All right. So everyone's ready. We have. Reloaded, so it's time for massive Overwatch galore. We know that there's one more chrysalid. And if possible, I'd like to spot that one out before we're engaging. Good, long watch. Yeah, the gatekeeper is not moving because normally when you scout it, you're immediately engaging with it. So there is no kind of patrolling pattern. The Reaper sort of breaks the game here. And since we do not see any enemy, might as well engage it. Alright, so now the fun starts. Away. 
Let's start taking away as much of uh, its armor as we can. There we go. Nice little two points of burn. Can't see it over here, which is interesting. Still going to move as close as possible. We're going to use a mimic beacon regardless. But I'm trying to hit it uh, just so we can shred it. Didn't work out, unfortunately. We got a nice little flashbang for the unlikely event uh, that uh, we're not going to kill it in the next turn. <laughs> and then we can simply use the flashbang. Good. Grappling up here, we gotta use that high ground to our advantage because boy boy are these things hard to hit. Might as well use lightning hands. Are we, do we want to use that or do we want to wait until next round? We're waiting until next round. So just take a pistol shot. Is it burning? No, it's not. Too bad. Eighty-one percent hit chance, getting just a tiny bit closer, because we can't flank it anyways. Might as well go here and yeah, try to hit it. Its armor is just incredibly tough. Good, so let's put a Mimic Beacon right next to it. The Acid Burn slowly but surely chips it away, but we're far from, um, from uh, having an advantageous position against it. Critically 14. Okay, that would be a one shot, regardless of who's being hit. Trying to find some high ground. Doesn't really work out. We're going to use a flashbang this round. So I'll position myself up here. That means we are at least not flanked. And we're trying to continue shredding it. Unfortunately, not very successful. Moving to here. <sighs> this is a good position, unfortunately. Even when Flashbang T could reach this position. Which makes it way less attractive. So we're going into full cover. Specifically since he's already injured. 
another unnecessary uh, miss. We're giving an aid protocol for the ones that are most likely going to be flanked. And since we couldn't shred it any further, might as well start trying to hit it. This is going to be a flashbang, we already know about that. So that'll block its psionic abilities and also give it a little bit more penalties. Yeah, I got to continue hitting it. There is really no way around continuing to hit it. That was a nice crit. Fortunately, we're going to be spotted out. Uh, that was expected. What we could do is, we could... Take our shot and hope that it starts burning. Deflection. That has not been the case. Don't want to stand in the open, it's, it's just a bad idea. Chances to get crit are too high, so we're rather taking another pistol shot. 90% misses, that's unfortunate. There's the burn. It's now disoriented, let's hope that it'll miss. So much for that. I'm going. Is it clear? Let's try to continue shredding it. Armor still holding. Ammo fast. Finally a hit. Let us continue getting it down. There we go, nice little hit. Six to seven. Mm. We gotta try it. Could have been deadly. We could have had a chance to actually kill it this uh, turn. Since we cannot kill it, I think we're instead going to go and take full cover. It now has its psionic abilities. It might use gateway. Yep, it's opening its shell, that's for sure. It 
And it just wasted its gateway ability. No idea why it did that. Unfortunately, not a really nice hit. But slowly, uh, slowly and surely, we're starting to wiggle it down. Topping up just so that we're not getting one shot. The repeaters, um, the stocks are doing work for us at this uh, point. Reloading, and let's kill this guy. Wrath takes the protocol because he's uh, the most valuable asset that we're currently having. And this could be a kill, if not, the asset should kill it. Asset burn, asset burn, asset burn. Trying to drain hit points. Wow. Could this be any more dramatic? Probably not. Even if you try to script it, could not be much more dramatic than that. Acid burn runs out. Tank is in a pretty tight spot there. And we're just not getting it down. All right, gotta maximize my chances to hit it. So we're standing in the open, like complete nut cracks. At least this time we're starting to shred it. Still has three armor. This is just insane. We also do not have a repeater or anything, so Just going on and on and on. Wrath gets a bit of an A protocol. We are reloading. The gatekeeper shouldn't have gateway uh, available yet. And we gotta pray that it is not regaining hit points again. Alright, so that was a pretty poor movement. Apparently the gatekeeper messed up a bit. I gotta make sure that I'm actually shredding it. So let's continue with this here. Another shredding. Lost in line. 
Reloading. And let's get out of here. Lower chance to hit it. Uh, but still, I was hitting it quite nicely. It's just not burning. Come on. Close, but not good enough yet. Moving behind any cover that we can find at this point. And we're looking at what? Potential hit, potential kill. 50-50, 70%. We gotta take that eye. Even in death, he still laughs at us. Holy shit, that was an intense fight. <laughs> okay. Well, seven armor against ballistic weapons and limited remaining explosives. Just turns out to be a little bit too much. Turns out to be just a little bit too much. We are reloading and I'm just trying at this time to get everyone to a high ground and sort of group up as a team. I can already see that everyone's going to be like severely injured when this run is over. Going over here. Is it clear? It's only a chrysalid, so might as well use the high ground to our advantage. Let's move already. I hope it's worth it. There is no need to uh, see cover against the chrysalid. What we need is sol chance to hit. Uh, I'm going. Overwatch. And are we really out of uh, healing? Well, we went through seven, seven dots of healing. Complete Overwatch. Come on, guys. I don't think we're alone out here. I had Overwatch traps, but we are kind of out of resources. Good. Well, so be it. One person needs to be the point person here, Magic Man. It's going to be that person. Chrysalid can't be that far away. Are 
this vigil. Alright, everyone's still on Overwatch. As soon as we see that Chrysalid, we're just going to run, run, run. Like there would be no tomorrow. The map isn't that large, so the Chrysalid seems to be kind of patrolling the edges. Yeah, it seems to be running around the edges for now. Just putting the sniper in a tiny bit better position, re-overwatching. The fact that it kind of comes from straight ahead tells me that there isn't really that much more space back there. Oh, come on. Gotta be kidding me. Where's that chrysalid? Let's move already. I've got movement here. Hmm. Where is the chrysalid? Still nothing. Okay. This is such a weird mission to play. Normally when you're here, you have all of the equipment and the tools. This time, it's different. You have, we are essentially having nothing. Still no chrysalid. <laughs> There's a good chance that we have missed it and that it's now coming our direction. I think I gotta go in as a team. All right, let's move. We just gotta do the good old Overwatch crawl. My original assumption that the chrysalid would be quite near just has turned out to be incredibly false. So it's still running around somewhere. I fear, by the way, that after this mission, since everyone is so incapacitated, that we might miss our time um, to go to the other mission, which is the um, commander's suit. Still have a couple of soldiers left over, but uh, it's not looking that great. And specifically Wrath here is absolutely instrumental. Moving out. 
that one time where you need the infirmary uh, building and where you need combat stimulants uh, where you can put uh, injured soldiers into the fight. Okay, well, we know it is two of them. Is it clear? Let's start with the one that just recently unborrowed. Alright, so he unborrowed here. What's over there? Oh, it's worth it. Heading out. Gotta find out where this guy is before he can cause much more harm. And probably both of uh, the specialists will take the lead for now. Because they do have med kits and are immune. Unfortunately, the things seem to have found us. Well, well, how can we get the maximum distance between us and the thing and still hit it? High ground is probably our friend here. So let's do the opposite. We're essentially going to take a stand. There we go. Trying to still level Murray, so we'll try to give him the kills whenever possible. And that means there is only one more chrysalid left. Good. Time for us to reload everyone. Moving up. And let's try to have a tight formation. The chrysalid is probably just going to charge our location. Being the last enemy. The AI uh, sometimes has the tendency to just reveal itself and charge your position. Just remembering that we're fighting against chrysalids, so cover is really not that important. The specialists are taking the front line here. Both of them can still take a hit and have med kits. The others stay a tiny bit further back. All right, 
knowing that it is definitely um, only one more chrysalid we can stand in the very open that will give us better uh, chances of uh, having a line of sight on it and we're taking no disadvantage from doing so Seems to be running around kind of back there. Here I come. Leaving. All right, I'll go. Okay. We do have a remote start if that is going to be necessary. Over there? Moving up even closer. Okay, so far so good, pretty sure we are going to engage with it very, very soon. Still nothing. I don't get it. It's supposed to charge at us. Not sure why it is continuing to just circle around trying to find us. I, don't, I really don't know. There we go. Good. So, cannot fully reach us if we're just moving back. Luckily for it, we didn't have a line of sight with our sniper, but now it's going to run into our overwatch trap. There we go, nice little burning. And nothing says I hate you as well as a big fat uh, auto gun. <laughs> well, that was pretty damn good. It's going to die. Let's give Wrath the kill. Holy shit, guys. That was a hard mission. That was a pretty hard mission. Certainly didn't make it any easier, uh, but on top of uh, the Gatekeeper and Chrysalis, we also had the Chosen, just for good measure. Okay, 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 okay. So yeah, de, de facto we lost two uh, characters because the massive grave wounding of Tank just takes him out of any reasonable time to recover. Wrath here will probably not be available in the next mission, but he gets an additional Claymore, which is great, and Banish, which is also fantastic. You know, and since we do have uh, AP left over and can't spend it on anyone but him, 
Might as well give him distraction. That will give him another chance to get um, back into cover. And Soul Harvest is, ni is stacking nicely. It's not a great ability, um, but it is an okay ability. 20 additional uh, crit chance uh, once he is harvested. Uh, should be fairly good. Yeah, here was the scanning protocol. Could have definitely used that in the last mission. Yeah, we got ourselves nine crystals. Holy shit. And a gatekeeper. Okay, so upgrade the Shadow Chamber. Well, that's only um, a little bit more power that we need, so it shouldn't be a big problem. And I know how we can get that. We have a spare engineer right here. Whenever we needed power, we could simply um, use him. Now let's upgrade it and get the psionic gate. Research is fine. We're barely going to make that re uh, finish that research in time. But you can already see we're not quite done with the research. There's still the avatar autopsy, and that takes 17 days. Not sure how we can speed that up even more. Uh, those projects take much longer than I would have anticipated beforehand. So we're making contact here. What? The aliens have a UFO hunting for... Our... Are, you, are you serious? Well, that's a really bad dark event. I can't... I can't... I can't just stop scanning from a timing perspective. That's not a good idea. And the UFO will be hunting for us. Commander, the aliens are still moving forward on the Avatar project. All right. We'll recover faster with the soldiers. That's good. Gain some XP. Health is increased. Yeah, the biggest problem is, I mean, the promotions are all fine and good, don't get me wrong. Biggest problem is we're not getting what we really need. Probably would have needed a few more scientists. Um, and we don't have them yet. And secondly, we probably would have needed um, the, the um, resistance order to make it in immediate contact. That would have saved us quite a few days. Not sure if that still would have given us enough time to research everything because these here are crazy long research times. I would need to find out how we could reduce them, maybe with a laboratory. So would the correct, um, would the correct building order be to skip the resistance ring altogether, just start with the lab and on on top of that just um, go for proving grounds next. Now I think the resistance ring is too valuable so it would be resistance ring into into proving ground and power relay which we need for the shadow chamber 
maybe could skip the guerrilla tactics school but that means we're we're at a loss um, when it comes to fighting with only four soldiers how could I squeeze more research into the whole build because the legendary research times are indeed just making it incredibly difficult to to uh, to do the run um five scientists is okay for the time like we were oh we were good on scientists we're in month number four and we have five scientists so <coughs> the game won't give us any more scientists um, needless to to speculate on more scientists uh, you could maybe be lucky and get them via the resistance ring you could spend intel in purchasing them but a single scientist wouldn't uh, completely change it if we were to go for a laboratory how would that work theoretically you would uh, need to start out with going for a laboratory first or relatively soon yeah, we, you gotta rush to the shadow chamber there's no way around that which means the natural build order is actually resistance uh, ring into proving grounds to get the um, skull jack then i think we could demolish uh, the proving grounds let's double check that So if we were to demolish uh, the proving grounds, that would take away all of the ammunition that we would uh, be getting. Okay, makes it a bit harder, but you can still research blue screen rounds if you're fast enough, uh, which is the best ammunition that you could get anyways, because it deals with all of the mechanical crap and would help you with the gatekeeper. So probably then the right way to do it is resistance ring into proving ground, getting the school jack as soon as possible. Once the school jack has been built, um, demolish the proving ground. Try to take it from there, I guess. Um, build a laboratory instead. And then just power through. You'd only disadvantages your you cannot lose your um, school jack so yeah that's probably the way to do it good we got plenty of income that's fine you can see we were uh, we were having a strong month Uh, XCOM reduction, that's fine. Yeah, the income, that's actually not too bad. Um, wait a second, we do have permanent dark events, right? Shit. Uh, yeah, we're permanently being hunted by a UFO. That actually is a problem. <laughs> that is a problem. Um, that's a big problem. This here is not a problem. Aliens hide in ambush among um, the population is also not a problem. My followers and your people continue to grow in skill, and now the resistance can take on more responsibility should you need it. One additional resistance contact, and we should be good to go. So let's see breakthrough research. That would be nice. Uh, assault rifles are good. Resistance order. Any recruits training in the GTS will achieve the rank of sergeant. That's a fantastic, fantastic resistance order. Just not good for our run. And although on top of it, it will only be available at the end of the month. Superior weapon upgrade isn't too bad. The promotion definitely would be good. Let's do this here. <laughs> uh, 
our team is pretty light on uh, on resources at this point. Let's put. Wait a second. If we're putting a scientist here, hmm, that will reduce our research time. But that should be fine. Who needs plus one health? We could give that to Divert. And there's no disadvantage in putting a soldier together with him on this mission. Yeah, wow, dark events. Show active dark events. Well, there is no UFO uh, dark event, so at least that's not permanent. Continuing to make contact here. And there is the extra um, the extra area so a laboratory would cost us a massive build time of 40 days oh. well it still would be worth it because um, if you speed it up it could be the key to just excel a research time Let's test it because uh, in the next run I want to make sure that we're that we're actually fine. Means we can't use our cores anymore. But yeah, that's okay. I could live with that. On the other hand, Mm. Wait a second, let me think that through. Which other building do we not absolutely need? If we're decommissioning uh, the guerrilla tactics school, we cannot train anyone anymore. But are we losing the combat tactics or not? That's a great question as well, because um, you only need, for squad size 2, you only need, I think, captain rank. I could get that and could then basically close it down. Hmm. You know what? We're not going to um, fumble around uh, with uh, the uh, GTS, but I want to test my theory, which is remove that facility. And we don't need to do that anymore. Perfect. Uh, that means we can build a laboratory. And we should have done that much earlier because with the laboratory, at least the research problems um, can be overcome. So there's a lot that needs to be uh, that needs to be done in the exact right order, elsewise um, you're just going to waste too much time. And I think we've been reasonably efficient here. Yet we will still fail it by maybe a week or two, which is which is a shame if you think about it. But for a first attempt, um, it could act as a as a decent guide of how to do it. Intel was fine, pretty critical to uh, to get that. What broke our uh, neck at the end was uh, the research time and probably uh, that we haven't upgraded the, res uh, the resistance ring fast enough. Uh, that's one of the upgrades that you want to get right away as well, just to speed up the mission speed here. I like that resistance order. 
I also like the promotion. So how are we going to do that? <clears throat> We're still being hunted by the UFO, so I think it's not a good idea uh, to go for anything risky here. Instead, let's just put two squatties on the next mission. Or a chance of an ambush, high chance of anyone getting wounded. That's okay. I just want the reward. We gotta account for the unlikely event that this happens. There is a one in a thousand chance uh, that Bradford actually can begin the evasive maneuvers and successfully flees. And as always, yeah, Bradford. As always, <laughs> things are getting rough. Okay, guys, um, I'll end the video here. We're already two hours um, in. I will probably uh, cut the video in uh, half so that uh, it'll be two full episodes um, worth of content. Pretty lengthy mission. We need to defend uh, the adventure now, and afterwards uh, we uh, will need to continue with our scan, basically finish uh, the uh, mission, and then we're almost at the final mission. So I'm still debating with myself whether or not um, I should simply cut the run at the 15th or shortly afterwards, or if I use the first run uh, just as a, I would say, baseline to see how fast you can get it done. And then we want to uh, be the, beat the baseline in one of the future runs. It's definitely not an uh, easy achievement on Legendary. Maybe it's even impossible, who knows. Uh, anyways, I'm going to equip everyone. See you on the next run as always, guys, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.